In this video guys, we're gonna look at the ascending scallop chart pattern. Hey guys, well, welcome to you. All right, so this is one of those patterns that signifies a potential reversal. The ascending scallop is a potential reversal from the downside to the upside. So it's a pattern that you would look to go long on. This, in my opinion, works better in the higher time frames like the dailies, like the weeklies. Not so effective in the smaller time frames because there's so much more kind of noise that can potentially come in. But you know, make it work for whatever time frame uh, you want to, or at least look at it and decide if it's something that you want to employ into your trading strategy and stick it into your trading arsenal. So the idea of it is this: we have price coming down, and admittedly, these bars are very nice and smooth, aren't they? But for information and kind of hypothetical purposes, you get the idea. Real world, you might well get obviously noisier candlesticks and a few penetrating through, but the shape is what we're looking for: this kind of scallop shape. So. Price is coming down, and this is the, really the, uh, the the kind of fundamental of it here. Um, we get this kind of rounding down and then accelerating up like that. So that's what we're ultimately looking for, is the shift in supply and demand slowly. So we get to the downside, we don't really do any kind of aggressive moves or any work, we just kind of accept it, and all of a sudden we start to push back up. Now, some of you are gonna say, well, this is like the cup and handle. It's similar, except we haven't really got the handle part of the cup, and as a, it, 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 theoretically, and I listen, real world traders know that, you know, so we can't be very accurate with this. Theoretically, it's a bit more of a kind of curve uh, than your cup and handle. Right, so where do we go in? Where do we come out? What's our stop loss? All this kind of stuff. So with the ascending scallop, we would be looking t you know, on textbook terms, that is, guys. And listen, you know I don't like sticking to textbook all the time. Textbook's not always right, okay? <laughs> but this is not a bad way of looking at this because it's a longer term kind of thing. Perhaps for your swing trade. If you think about this, this way, this would come into play. I'm digressing slightly, but you've analyzed and identified a stock that may well do a recovery. It's not been doing so well. Um, it's kind of been pushing around a little bit. Uh, maybe it's come up a little bit, been in a range, drip back down. But you now see that, hey, it's starting to, the tide's starting to turn a little bit. Maybe it's pushing up into earnings. If you find you're taking a little bit of a, a kind of cushion into earnings, that would be a nice scenario for you, this kind of thing. So here would be where you'd have um, your buy. So you'd go long here and then your stop would be under that low. So you can see that it's more uh, for a swing trader's perspective than it is for a day trader's perspective because it's a reasonable stop. But then ultimately, you know, if you've got a multiple target of many times your risk up there, then it's gonna work out okay for you. Let's just quickly look at the descending scallop, guys, which is obviously very similar, just in reverse, so I'm still in the board, I am indeed. So we've got this kind of thing here, and this is gonna be a little bit more rough, but you get the idea. Same kind of thing, we've been pushing up for whatever reason and now we believe that it's a, an exit, perhaps it's a good way of us trailing our exit if we're a traditional buy only investor slash trader or if we're a bit more active, pushing on the short side. Same kind of thing, we've got that rolling around and pushing down lower. Standard uh, entry would be to sell here, again, whether we're selling short or selling our position. And then if we were short, the stop loss would be above the high here. So that's really the ascending scale up, guys. Like I say, I think that is more powerful for or during uh, swing trading. And why is that? Because if you look at day trading, you know, these things, okay, whilst it might be okay in a 15 minute, but by the time that this has happened, you've run out of the day. You know, one minute I think is way too noisy and to see this on a one minute would be super unlikely because you often see you know, extreme moves and there's candles that come out of nowhere because it's on a one minute. So you'd have to go higher. And if you went up to a 15 minute or an hourly, Yes, you might see this, but then you know, you're know you you're almost looking at it then from a, a multi-day swing position because by the time it's done this intraday, the, the day's up because you've got to see multiple candles here. So I guess you could use it a four hourly and use it on a swing trade basis and obviously have, have multiple days in your chart time frame there. So you can see that, that's probably okay, but going any lower, then you start to run into noise and stuff. Nice little thing to look at. Would you use it on its own? Up to you to decide. Would you use it to perhaps filter, uh, as a lot of these patterns are quite useful for, as a filter to say, okay, well that's happened. Now I wanna look for an entry that's a bit more definitive, it's a bit, a bit less risk. Then there's the way you can use these as well, guys. Anyway, that's the ascending uh, and a little bit descending scallop pattern.